There are a variety of ways that an employee can fall under the category of difficult. I mean, drive you crazy. Those who don't take directions well or challenge your decision as a leader. Those who are terrible with time management and so they always late or missing deadlines. And those who are creating a toxic work environment by spreading gossip or starting office trauma. It's sometimes difficult to know how to deal with a difficult employee in the right way. And it's vital for your team and your company to know how to handle the situation well. Well, guess what? You are at the right place at the right time to learn about five tips for addressing a difficult employee. Hello everyone, my name is Robert Lowry and I am a life and leadership coach and I help empower people to develop confidence to create a life and a career they desire and deserve. If you're new here, I want to welcome you. And if this sounds like something that speaks to you, make sure you hit that like button and while you're at it, please consider subscribing to my page and hit that notification button so you know when the next videos are being released. And if you're already a subscriber, you know the deal. I wanna welcome you back and I truly appreciate the love and support. So let's get into it. Five tips on how to address the difficult employee. Number one, handle the problem swiftly. No one likes confrontation, but you must handle the issue with difficult employees quickly. Not doing so means that the problem will only get worse and more out of hand. Meanwhile, they are also damaging your team's morale and company culture. Other team members will also be frustrated and discouraged if they see that you're not handling the situation properly. So number two, sit down for a business conversation. Take the employee aside and have a business conversation with them. I want you to take all of the emotion out of the picture. I know it's frustrating, but instead use professional tone and wording. Make the employee feel comfortable sharing their side of the story and always, always open up the platform for a two-way conversation. Number three, find the root cause of the problem. This can sometimes be as simply directly asking the employee what they think the root cause of the problem is. Don't assume what's going on from them. Instead, hear it directly from them and point out tactfully that their behavior is having an impact on the team and ask if they are aware of it. And I want you to make sure you give specific examples of the issue at hand. Don't beat around the bush. Number four, tailor a solution to the employee's needs. The solution that you and the employee come up with together will be different depending on the exact situation. This solution should be something that is measurable, objective, and also realistic. Ask the employee, what support do you need in order to improve in this particular area? If they're having a personal issue, you could also refer them to an employee assistant program if you have one, or maybe identify a specific training. Number five, follow up with the employee. Now that you've come up with this great plan and solution, check up on the employee's progress at predetermined times. Make sure they are following through on their part. It is also equally important that you do your part to stay consistent in checking in on them. As you can see, there are always ways you can address a difficult employee in a way that is beneficial for everyone involved. This will keep the communication transparent and guidelines very clear, and it will keep things from getting worse. If the employee doesn't show improvement, then it's time for disciplinary actions. But oftentimes, it can be handled well without disciplinary actions being taken. So listen, be sure to comment and let me know if this video was helpful to you. And until next time, thanks for watching.